you know it's all your fault that this is happening, right? It's all because of you. All I wanted to do was be a normal YouTuber, but you guys turned me into this. Now I'm a cute little anime girl, and I'm loving it. I freaking love it, this is the best thing I have ever done for my channel. Being a cute little anime girl, yeah, this is what I've wanted all my life. Yeah, the mouth doesn't work properly and it barely moves, but this, this is the peak of my channel right now. If you are looking for better quality, it is not happening. This is it. If you don't want the cute anime girl, you can just get off my channel. I love this thing. Look, it heads, it's head, look, it moves sometimes. This is fantastic, man. And all of this, just so I can tell you that I finally platinum Little Witch Academia, a game that's absolutely garbage, but I did it anyway because I love the show that much. So yeah, I basically spoiled the whole review for you, but hey, if you're not looking for a game, if you're not looking to be spoiled, well, here you are. You found this viewer review there. The, the. See, I'm not even going to cut that out because it's just so natural when you're an anime girl. You just make those mistakes. But anyway, Liquor Witch Academia, Chamber of Time, a really bad PS4 game that was made by the same people who apparently made Kill the Kill If. And that's the only other game they've made, which is kind of scary, but if you know how much I love Kill the Kill If, yeah, I thought this would be a good game. I mean, I platinum that one as well, so if they were able to do that, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to strike lightning twice, especially since they're both trigger titles and, you know, it's anime. If there was one thing that I was looking forward to most in this game, it was just the graphics. I mean, it's gorgeous. It really does just look like an episode of the anime moved into 3D, which a lot of anime games do struggle with. I mean, converting something that was once 2D into 3D, it does take some effort. And I, you either make a really weird and realistic model, or you kind of make a really chunky 3D model that has like a 2D texture on it. And either way, it just doesn't look good. But they've managed to make some really, really good models that are just accurate to the point where I wouldn't even be able to tell most of the time that these were actually 3D models. But everything else about this game falls apart. This game is an action-adventure beat-em-up, I guess. And while the exploration part is actually pretty cool because you get to walk around Luna Nova, the main hub of the Little Witch Academia world, everything else is just kind of meh. Like, for instance the dungeon crawling. There's this place called the Chamber of Time and within it there are multiple dungeons which you access through keys. Keys which you get by completing side missions which are once again in the main hub by walking around and interacting with people throughout the world at different points in time. And some of them are really annoying but that's besides the point. The dungeon crawling itself is really boring, repetitive and just luck based especially when you're trying to get specific items. Even with the luck that I had, which was over 100, I was still struggling to find the most basic of items that I needed to complete missions. By the end, I was left with about two missions I hadn't completed, which I still had to go back and complete anyway because I needed those bloody dungeon keys to access these decorations, which the game doesn't even really tell you about. But anyway, the dungeon crawling itself is really stiff. It's meant to be action oriented, you know, some really cool combat, but it's not. It's just extremely stiff and the voice lines and dialogue repeat constantly, making it more annoying than it has to be to the point where I just turned off all the volume altogether just so I wouldn't have to hear it. But yeah, as I was saying, the stiff combat is really annoying because this is the type of game that should be a lot more fluid than it is. It's a, it's a fighting game at the end of the day. You should be moving and dodging and swerving, but none of that happens here. It's really pretty, don't get me wrong, but nothing else besides that. And all the characters, the way they play makes them all kind of like zoners in a way where they have to attack from a distance. The only character that I found satisfying to play in the least was Amanda because I felt like her button inputs actually mattered because she did hand-to-hand -hand combat and it was really cool and flashy, which the other characters don't manage to do. So basically we have one good character and that's about it. But to complete the whole game and get all the trophies, you have to use every single character, which did make the game a bit of a drag. But again, the highlight of this game was the fact that you could explore Luna Nova. Which is cool, but uh, I don't know. It's just, it's cool the first time, you know, when you're nostalgic for it and there's nothing else to do. And some of the side missions are really cool because they give context to parts of the show you wouldn't have got before. Since if you haven't noticed, we are not getting a season two, no matter how much you think we are. It's just not happening. The most we've had from the Little Witch Academia franchise at this point 
is a crappy VR game, and I'm sorry, but it is. It's broom racing, and it looks terrible, and it's been in development for how long? And nobody's funding it. Let's be honest, none of you are giving Kickstarter money for that. Nobody cares about it. We all just want a season two or a better game. Nobody asked for a VR experience. So there's pretty much nothing to this game. Just walking around and finding missions, being at the right place at the right time, and then grinding in the dungeons just to get specific items, just so you can complete one mission. It's not worth it. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. The only reason I completed it is because at that point it was like, you know what? I'm so far into this game, I might as well just finish it. Just because, you know, I'm already here, let's just finish off this game and make it at least seem worth my while. So that's the only reason I completed it. I didn't feel satisfied by the end, I didn't feel any sense of joy. The only thing that I liked was that at the end they played the Little Witch Academia theme, the first one, so hey, that was, that was something. But I wouldn't recommend this game to anyone unless you're a big fan of Little Witch Academia and you just really want some context to things that happen within the show because uh, once again we are not getting a season 2. Like see why Amanda transforms into a girl the first time, learn some stuff about Sleeping Susie like the kind of mushroom she used at that point. But that's about it, you're not getting much else. So if you just want to see some story, maybe that's a good reason to buy it, otherwise I'd just leave this game alone. To be honest, I put a lot of effort into getting this game because for some reason it was taken off the European Play Store and I assume it's because it was completely terrible but you know there's worse games on that store that are still online so who knows why it's gone. But it is gone and I had to go through the trouble of getting an American account and buying it that way. So that was a bit annoying but you know if you live in America you've already got access to the game. If you don't you might have to put in a bit more effort, maybe go to PlayAsia and buy a little coupon to use in the American Play Store. But it wasn't that difficult, it's just a bit annoying for a game that I didn't even enjoy. But anyway, that is pretty much it. So once again, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe. And when you do comment, just let you know I do read them and I appreciate anyone who does interact with me. And once again, if you like the anime thing, I might keep it going. I mean, it's pretty stiff, but hey, it's here. Just be grateful. I told you, this is the peak of my channel. So if you don't like it, you can leave now. It's not getting any better than this. But as always, I have to say goodbye.